I was so excited to begin nursing school in 1975, a long time ago. Sometimes I feel like I've been a nurse for almost 42 years, and sometimes I don't. I've learned so much about patient care and about the individuality of patients. Everyone is different, and that can be one of the most challenging pieces of the patient care puzzle. Another challenging part of caring for patients is meeting their emotional and psychological needs as well as their physical needs. I believe it helps nurses to get report on your patient and try and um, look at their situation individually and meet their needs as best as you can. One aspect I feel is important is to meet needs quickly. If the patient is anxious or angry or has some unresolved issues, that unresolved issue might make a difference in their care that day. and of the patient to be willing to um, help with their own activities of daily living. Being a nurse has also given me confidence to be able to take care of sick people. I really enjoy learning from other nurses and from others in the medical field. And as I speak to you, I speak to you um, today, and I know I couldn't have done what I've done as a nurse without other nurses. I have worked with some nurses who are very creative with meeting needs if we don't have available what is needed, such as certain trains or dressings, or if we have to put uh, together a need needed part of the patient's care. And I really enjoyed that part of nursing too. Another aspect of being a nurse is to try and use a sense of humor. Sometimes the heaviness of the patient's diagnosis or the difficult treatment they're going through makes the patient sad or depressed or feeling helpless. When a patient loses control of his care, he or she may feel anxious, their heart may beat fast, or their head may feel full and pressured. We need to allow the patient to do as much as they can and make as many decisions on their own as possible. As nurses, we want to fix the patient's problems, especially if we like to check it off of our list. Sometimes we need to just be a listener to patients without thinking about what we're going to say next in their sentences. We need to treat each person we care for with respect. We may not approve that their lifestyle and their habits is what brought them to the hospital, but they can sense that when we're judgmental or we're feeling less than empathet empathetic for them. We have to work on this with every patient. Sometimes our background may affect the way we care for patients, like the way you grew up, you might have been abused, you might have seen a lot of things in your life that affected the way you feel about patient care. We have, we have to watch that. Um, being a nurse means working with different personalities in our job. It's important and sometimes hard to understand that employees we work with do come to work with unresolved issues sometimes and with problems at home. We may have to bend or give a little to work as easily as possible with them. Whenever I went through a difficult time a few years ago, I was difficult to work with. Once I shared my feelings with my coworker, and she said, Pam, you don't have to always be strong. If you're not having a good day, just let your coworker know it. But we have to learn how to be the best at what we are because we are caretakers when we are nurses. I'm glad I had the nursing knowledge when my two children were young and knew what to do then. And even now I can help them with their children. So my decision to become a businesswoman in high school would have been a mistake. And I'll always be glad I chose nursing my senior year in high school. Also, one of the most important parts of my daily nursing career has been knowing God has been with me all the way. Most days I come to work, I pray that God would help me to safely take care of my patients and to be the best nurse that I can be, I can be to my patients. And thank you so much for allowing me to speak today.